Greetings and salutations, YouTubers and Mouth Factors. Stop Logic Motorsports. And we are back today looking at a tire. You know, those black rubbery round things that we put on our bikes. So, um, basically, this is what I'm going to use to replace the Tusk D Sport front because I just haven't been able to get a good result from it. And all of my go-tos, like the Pirelli MT-21 and the Kenda 760, have been on back order for a few months now. So this right here is the Shinko MX-216. It's a um, spirited, <laughs> spirited reproduction of the Golden Tire 216. And there are some grumblings on the net that they're made in the same factory in Korea, but I don't take much stock in that unless I know for sure. This particular tire comes in three flavors. This is the 90 90 21. And then it comes in a 118 uh, 21 or 180 21 variety. And then it has the fatty version, which is, I believe, a 100 or 110 uh, 80 21 configuration. And there's a special reasoning behind me choosing the 90 the 90 90 21. The other two larger and wider models don't have the reinforcement for the side lugs and these intermediate lugs there's a few uh, rumblings and grumblings on the uh, net that these uh, side lugs have a tendency to tear off on the fatty versions of the tire so I figured I would use the uh, 909021 with the reinforcement so what we're going to work on today is we're gonna pull this dreadful thing off the front and I might consider putting it up as a uh, option to send to anybody interested in trying this tire for cost of shipping on YouTube. I'm still deciding and seeing what the implications of that would be. But I just haven't managed to get a good result from this tire. And we're going to replace it with this and see if our dirt and street fortunes can be improved a bit. So, a little bit later today we're going to be doing a uh, real-time peel down of this tire and reinstallation and pretty much that's the long and short of today's video so if you like what you see or find value in this like and subscribe if you don't feel free to criticize me harshly in the comment section I can take uh, take and enjoy harsh criticism I also accept payments in attaboys the video coming up finally after this one I'll be giving this goop finally a shot so we're going to do the street video of a 50 mile break-in since unlike ride on sealant the Sahara Moto takes 50 miles to settle apparently and we're gonna do a street impressions of a 50 mile run-in on the Shinko front and then we'll take it out to the dirt obviously because a tire like this yeah, I'm surprised it's dot rated I'm actually completely shocked it's DOT rated so it also appears to have a rotation on it so I'm actually looking for the dot rating on it it's supposed to be DOT rated you know I might be mistaken the online documentation says it's DOT rated Uh, if, if I am, yep, oh, yep, dot rating. So, we'll give this bad boy a shot. So for a little bit, I'm going to let this thing sit here in the uh, heat of the garage and get nice, soft, and pliant, and we're going to start busting into this. And we'll be back in a bit. Well, I'm hearing thundering and rumbling, so I better get to this. We're going to take our usual loop. Actually, we'll just take a shorter loop. We'll kind of get up to as much speed as I can. <sighs> Pretty much. We'll do a little bit of road test, try and get it up to speed, see how it handles. And then we'll take our gravel road. And then next weekend, because this weekend I'm going to be patching up uh, ceilings from water damage and doing some floors. And uh, well, if you want to see me do this type of work, 
you know say so in the comments section but uh let's give this thing a little test So the uh, front pressure I have in the uh, tire is 25 pounds. I beat it at 33, which is the maximum that it says that it should be ran. shimmy or the uh, shake of the Tusk D-Sport so far this is a bit better I can definitely tell it's not balanced we're doing the hop up and down like it was on the uh, RM125 on the Kenda 760s so it looks like I do want to use the balancing gear shimmy or braking shimmy though so that's kind of nice it still does have a bit of shake to it but that's what happens when you ride a super aggressive knobby on the street my speedometer is off because of my gearing but i took it up to about 73 74 miles an hour so we're going to do a uh, gravel road it's 25 psi so this is definitely not an ideal situation for this tire
walking an army of dogs down here. Well, that's certainly going to make things more difficult. <sighs> well, what's up, Puffer? Eh. I'll give this guy a chance to uh, do his thing for a bit. Gotta be careful of running this bike too long on the street. I think I still have dirt pressure in the rear tire. Uh. Well, that's kind of a kicker. Yeah, I'm not supposed to ride through construction sites like this. I'm going to. Uh... <sighs> Puts a damper on my uh, usual dirt lap. The good news is it doesn't really seem to deflect or wash on the gravel road at all. Just kind of wish I would have had a slightly less um, unleashed dog situation on the back on that dirt road. Oh well, we'll test it on some real dirt next weekend anyway. the gravel road part was a bit of a bust. I just didn't want to run the risk of injuring any doggos. Believe me, I'm an animal person. So anywho, let's get some initial impressions of this. If I rated the uh, D Sport as a zero on the road or a one this shimmy's about, 
half as much. So it's still not a great street tire. You'll still get some shake on it, but it's not absolutely frightening. And this is a tire that visibly and by feel is definitely out of balance. I mean, you can feel it oscillating. So out of the out of the box, the uh, Tusk D Sport was actually a better balanced tire. Well, that's why we're gonna go grab the balancing goo before I take this thing back out on the road a bit. In the gravel, it wasn't deflecting left to right or anything crazy like that. And the turn that I done on the two gravel spots, it bit in really well, even for being at 25 pounds. So I'd say so far, my initial impression is this would probably be a, uh, granted my gravel trip was very short, but I'd rank it at least a point and a half higher than the uh, Tusk. On the street, I'd probably give it a two or three. You kind of got to understand what it is. It's definitely not a type of tire that you go on to drag pegs on or do uh, sharp lean angles, but I could see where this is actually a pretty decent dual sport tire. It'll wear quick as heck on the cement though. <sighs> as far as like high speed, this is actually a pretty stable tire. I'm a little nervous on it, but not that bad. Well, after I get to do some honeydews this weekend, I'm going to take this thing out to Spokes, and I'm going to play Heat Exhaustion Simulator again, and we're going to give this thing a shot on the MX track, trails, whole nine yards. So look forward to that content, because I sure am looking forward to trying this tire out. It definitely... It definitely reminds me of like the uh, Michelin Star Cross a bit in the tread pattern. I have a feeling this will be a good tire, but I also have a feeling, given the reinforcements and everything on here, that this tire will also like to climb out of ruts quite substantially. So we'll see. But in the meantime, if you like the content, like and subscribe. If you don't like the content, feel free to criticize me harshly in the comments section. Whip me, beat me, make me write hot checks. I also accept payments and attaboys. In the meantime, have a good one.